Mm, would it be nice to be in a splash pad on a hot day like this? Yeah. It would. We are one day away from fall, but the summer temps continue to heat the city up, which is why there's been an uproar about the city's decision to close its nearly 100 splash pads. I'm Faiza Amin inside Moss Park. Well, City News has exclusively learned that Parks Forestry and Rec has had a change of heart and will be delaying the closure of most of its splash pads. People who don't have central air in their home, we don't, um, have a place where they know they can cool off, they can enjoy, they're safe because uh, they're, you know, city run and tested. As Toronto's soaring temps and some looking for shade, others prefer to soak it all in at one of the city's 93 splash pads. The parents of little ones learned today that wouldn't be an option. Knowing that there are people who um, their childcare arrangements are different or um, their access to amenities and time is different, having the splash pads open when it's hot out is really critical for a city like this. Even the playgrounds, like the slides are too hot for her to go down. Earlier today, City News was told splash pads usually close on the third weekend in September. And the city started that process last weekend. But a change of heart later today when a spokesperson from Parks, Forestry and Recreation said they decided to delay the closure to a majority of splash pads until Monday due to the unseasonably warm temperatures. I've heard from uh, parents in our community who have asked why would the city turn off the splash pads when even though they have a season for splash pads, the reality outside is that it's sweltering heat this weekend. Councilor Josh Matlow asked the city to reopen the water play areas after his office received calls from residents. The city says only a handful of splash pads will remain closed, while some of the other structures will require their electrical timers to be reset. That work will be done Friday morning. Even considering that if the weather does change like this, that they could potentially turn them back on because I know they have a set date as to when they stop. This comes one day after the councillor made a plea urging landlords in Toronto to turn the heat off. Many buildings also turn the AC off despite the unseasonably warm weather. That same day, Matlow also announced the city would be looking to change the heat bylaw that requires landlords to provide a minimum temperature of 21 degrees per unit. Some asking if the same review could be applied to the dates the city closes splash and spray pads. I understand, of course, there needs to be a lot of planning um, and budget elements that go into it. Uh, but we generally know with uh, a lot of certainty what the summer is going to look like and how late it's going to be hot. They've got to deal with reality and serve people. So, yeah, I think we have to look at our bylaws right across the board that have anything to do with seasons or heat or, or cold temperatures to recognize that there needs to be nuance and flexibility, given that uh, Mother Nature doesn't always work within our bylaws. The city will be publishing a full list of its operating splash pads on their website sometime on Friday. You can find a link to that on our website, citynews.ca. Inside Moss Park, I'm Faisal Amin for City News.